out doing some metal tech tent. A little cellar hole up here. Split the plug. Got my headphones in, but I got a decent signal with the compadre right here. Got about a four inch plug flipped. And I'm gonna keep digging and see what we have. All right, I got it out of the hole. Let's see, I need a button. Looks like a button, yeah. Not bad, that was about six inches deep. The compadre. It's got a broken shank. Good score. I've been videos in a while, been busy. I'm out in the woods, and uh, of course, where else do I like to detect? Got a neat hole here, I'll show it to you guys. It's like the center of the piece. There's a well down in there. So this uh, old foundation had a well down in the basement. Salah. Good size one. Found a couple coins here, some large and some Indians. The uh, Tesoro Capadre that I'm using, I did the, uh, opened up the inside, cranked up the uh, sensitivity all the way. And then I kind of adjusted the ground balance a little bit. And tuned a little bit more on the discrimination. The discrimination, when, when it would discriminate a nickel out, it was actually closer to the foil. So I tuned that up a little bit more, and for a little five-inch coil, five and three-quarter, it's, it's a powerhouse, man. Uh, I'm getting probably an extra two and a half inches, maybe even three in the dirt, and I just dug that button around five or six inches right there. So um, I think it's going to be pretty successful around the, the trashy areas, you know, where there's a lot of iron. So that's my goal. Go slow and do a lot of sweeping. Oh, very cool. This was about maybe two or three inches deep. Looks like an old, maybe earring. Let me get up against the coil. Got a couple dangling things there. It's a relic. The camera sucks, but... Very cool. I was popping loud. Eh, like I said, maybe three inches deep. <laughs> Gotta love it. <clears throat> Hitting it hard. <laughs> Thimble. We're in the foil range. Nice little thimble. A little bent up. Cool. A big one. Probably the, one of the bigger thimbles I've ever found. Just killing it with the compadre. See it? Yeah. There it is. Old school spoon. Oh, but nice. Just to show you, um, there were these two pieces of metal in that hole too. I don't know if I was grabbing the spoon or these metal, but uh, still was able to snag it. Pulling some more little relics out of the ground. I'm not sure what that is. Huh. There'll be more to come. Alright, just uh, right down there. Little Indian head. Let me wipe a little face grease on that one. So we see what we so can see it a little bit. Oh, no. 18, 1883, I think. Oh, 
Very cool. That was shallow. Two, three inches, maybe three. Small coils rock. It's hard to see. It's not a washer. It's got a. It's hard to see, but there's a nice little design that goes around this. Just dug that coin. Where did that coin? There's a coin right there. A couple of feet up. I mean, it was four or five inches deep. Piece of copper or brass, I don't know. I'll take it. A nice uh, button with the shank on it. It's about 15 minutes since I dug something. I think there's the hole. I'm like out maybe where you call the driveway area. Yeah. Got a mini mini button. Tiny one. Nice! Got a nice little round button. Yeah. I think it looks like the shank maybe pushed in. Can't find too many of those. All right, uh, been out here for like 15 minutes, just dug the normal garbage, but uh, got a smoother tone here. Starts to cut out, a little past pull tab. Comes back into life around pull tab. I think there's the, uh, the hole, so I'll be right back, see what we got. Yeah. It's an old bullet shell, about four or five inches deep. All right, we haven't had much luck, but Kevin's got the doorbell ring going on over here. Let's see what he pulls out. Got a cool little stream right over there, running. Not in the plug. Ooh. We got the usual little trinkets and... Actually, he found a good hunter's knife. Maybe 20, 30 years in the ground. Oh, it's way out there? No, I'm just kind of... I'm trying to stay outside. My choo-choo. Is that a jar full of coins, buddy? What do you got? Are you grabbing the lid off it? Oh, I see inside. I think I just read the lid. It's coming home with me either way. Yeah. It's aluminum, so it's probably. Uh, that's a heart stopper when you see a jar with a lid on it. Here, crack this over your head. No. It's looking pretty empty. No jingling. No piggy bank there. There's some jingling in there. Dirt. How did dirt get in there? Oh, there's, a, there's a bunch of it, though. I think that we have some kind of a jam from the 17th Dynasty. Chinese. <laughs> yeah. well, we might have something good here. Not me, him. Fortunate for him, unfortunate for me. Oh, I saw it. Did you? No. Breaking it down. 
Oh, I'm still on weight. Yeah, right. Oh, bingo. Another one of these damn things. No way. The heck.